Helen Chadwick, a British artist born in 1953, was known for her pioneering work in photography, sculpture, and installation art. Her artistic journey was deeply influenced by her upbringing and academic pursuits. Chadwick studied at the London College of Printing and later at the Royal College of Art, where she delved into conceptual art and feminist theory, shaping her artistic perspective. Her early years were remarked by an exploration of themes related to the body, identity, and the natural world, which became prominent motifs throughout her career. Chadwick's childhood experiences and her fascination with biology and natural sciences significantly informed her artistic expression. Her work often challenged societal norms, examining notions of beauty, gender, and human relationships with the environment. Chadwick's formative years saw her grappling with societal constructs and exploring the boundaries of traditional art mediums. Her interest in the human body, often portrayed in unconventional and thought-provoking ways, was a testament to her curiosity about the complexities of existence and the dichotomies within it. In essence, Ellen Chadwick's early years laid the foundation for her groundbreaking artistic explorations, blending conceptual depth with innovative techniques, and setting the stage for her influential contributions to contemporary art. Ellen Chadwick's early works were profoundly shaped by a convergence of influences spanning her personal experiences, academic studies, and societal context. Her upbringing in a post-war Britain could, coupled with her academic pursuits in the realms of conceptual art and feminist theory, served as the bedrock for her artistic evolution. The feminist movement of the 1970s and 80s was a pivotal influence on Chadwick's early works. It prompted her to explore themes of relative to gender, identity, and societal norms, sparking a deep interrogation of cultural constructs that define femininity and beauty. This exploration can be observed in pieces like Ego Geometria Sum, 1982-1984, where she challenged conventional ideals of beauty and questioned the objectification of the female body. Moreover, Chadwick's academic background in the natural sciences, particularly her fascination with biology and organic forms, significantly impacted her artistic fascination and development. Her exploration with the human body as a subject of matter often manifested through unconventional representations and materials, and was deeply rooted in her understanding of biological structures. For instance, her series Piss Flowers (1991–1992) showcased an intriguing fusion of bodily fluids and flowers, exploring the dichotomy between beauty and bodily functions. Chadwick's art was also influenced by her engagement with diverse artistic movements and predecessors. Her interest in the Surrealists and their exploration of the subconscious mind resonated in her approach into creating provocative and dreamlike imagery. Furthermore, her interactions with fellow artists and the evolving contemporary art scene of the time played a pivotal role in shaping her conceptual frameworks and artistic language. In essence, Helen Chadwick's early years were a culmination of multifaceted influences. Her feminist consciousness, academic pursuits, fascination with biology, and engagement with art movements collectively formed a rich tapestry that profoundly impacted her artistic development, paving the way for her to challenge norms, blur boundaries, and pioneer new forms of artistic expression. Helen Chadwick's artistic style was characterized by a fusion of conceptual depth, innovative use of materials, and a profound exploration of themes related to the body, nature, and societal constructs. Her multidisciplinary approach spanned photography, sculpture, installation, and mixed media, allowing her to create thought-provoking pieces that challenged conventional artistic boundaries. One of the defining aspects of Chadwick's style was her bold reimagining and deconstruction of traditional notions of beauty and the human body. She often employed unconventional materials, such as organic substances like chocolate flowers and bodily fluids, to create artworks that questioned societal norms and perceptions. For example, her Piss Flowers series utilized urine as a medium, exploring themes of transformation, decay, and the ephemeral nature of beauty. Her use of photography was equally innovative. Chadwick employed photography not just as a means of documentation, but as a tool for conceptual exploration. In works like Of Mutability, 1986-1989, she utilized a photo montage and manipulated images to challenge the viewer's perception of the body, merging human forms with natural elements to create surreal and thought-provoking compositions. 
Chadwick's sculptural works often involved intricate craftsmanship and a meticulous attention to detail. Pieces like the Cacao, 1994, featuring cast bronze sculptures of crushed chocolate boxes, epitomized her ability to transform everyday objects into profound reflections on consumption, desire, and the human condition. Her artistic approach was characterized by a constant interrogation of bin binaries, beauty and decay, desire and repulsion, nature and artificiality. Chadwick's use of constraints, juxtapositions, and unconventional pairings aimed to challenge the viewer's preconceptions and provoke contemplation about the complexities of existence. Overall, Helen Chadwick's artistic style can be defined as a fearless exploration of the human body, nature, and societal constructs through a diverse range of mediums and techniques. Her abilities to merge conceptual depth with innovative use of materials created a body of work that continues to challenge and inspire audiences to reconsider conventional perspectives on art and humanity. Helen Chadwick's career was marked by several significant works that not only defined her artistic journey but also left a lasting impact on contemporary art, challenging conventions, and exploring profound themes. Three of her most notable works stand out for their innovation, depth, and influence. Ego Geometria Sum, 1982-1984, this series of photographic self-portraits is regarded as a pivotal point in Chadwick's career. It depicted her body covered in geometric shapes, challenging societal norms of beauty and representation. Chadwick's manipulation of her own image addressed themes of identity, femininity, and the objectification of the female body. The series was a bold statement against idealized representations of women in art, provoking discussions about self-image and societal expectations. Of Mutability, 1986-1989, this extensive photographic series explored the trine science and mutability of the human body. Chadwick created surreal compositions by merging human forms with organic elements, blurring the boundaries between the natural and the artificial. The series challenged perceptions of beauty, mortality, and transformation, inviting viewers to contemplate the fragility and impermanence of life. Its innovative use of photomontage and manipulation of images expanded the possibilities of photography as a medium for conceptual exploration. Piss Flowers, perhaps one of her most controversial yet thought-provoking series, Piss Flowers used urine as a medium to create intricate and delicate flower-like sculptures. This project delved into themes of transformation, decay, and inherent beauty within what is conventionally considered repulsive. Chadwick's use of bodily fluid challenged societal taboos and notions of aesthetics, questioning the dichotomy between beauty and disgust. These works exemplify Chadwick's ability to merge conceptual depth with innovative use of materials and techniques. They pushed the boundaries of art, sparking dialogues about beauty standards, bodily autonomy, and the interconnectedness of nature and humanity. Their influence of contemporary art is evident in their continued resistance, inspiring artists to explore unconventional mediums and challenge societal norms in their own practice. Chadwick's significant contributions expanded the horizons of conceptual art, photography, and sculpture, leaving a profound legacy that continues to provoke thought and reshape perspectives within the art world and beyond. Helen Chadwick's contributions to contemporary art earned her recognition in various forms, including exhibitions, awards, and critical acclaim. Here's an overview. Exhibitions. Chadwick's works were showcased in prominent exhibitions globally, including the Tate Britain, a Barbican Center, and the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, as well as internationally in galleries and museums across Europe, North America, and beyond. Her inclusion in exhibitions, such as the Venice Biennale and Documentea major international art events, underscored the significance of her contributions to the art world. Awards and Recognitions Chadwick received the prestigious Paul Hamlin Foundation Award in 1994, acknowledging her innovative and influential artistic practice. Her work was also shortlisted for the Turner Prize in 1996, a highly esteemed recognition in the UK art scene that highlights artists pushing boundaries and making significant contributions to contemporary art. Both Mollesy, Chadwick's legacy was celebrated with retrospectives and tributes honoring her impact on art history. Significance Inclusion in renowned exhibitions provided Chadwick with a platform to reach wider audiences, cementing her status as a pivotal figure in contemporary art. Awards such as the Paul Hamlin Foundation Award and the Turner Prize nomination affirmed the critical acclaim and recognition of her innovative approaches, pushing boundaries within the art world. The significance of these acknowledgments lies not only in the validation of Chadwick's artistic merit, but also in their role in shaping art historical narratives. 
Her presence in prestigious exhibitions and the recognition through esteemed awards solidified her place in the canon of contemporary art, ensuring her influence on subsequent generations of artists. These acknowledgments reflect the resonance of Chadwick's work within the art market, positioning her as an artist whose innovative concepts and boundary-pushing creations continue to be celebrated, studied, and exhibited worldwide, leaving an enduring impact on the art world.